Hi everyone, uh, we decided to put a video together on how we set up our lethal company mod packs. Um, we've been seeing a lot of you know comments in the videos we've been posting on you know how do you get the file pack, how do you use Rodman. So we this is just a video to kind of show you how we set up our stuff. And uh, just want to say thank you again. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers, and I think that original video is at 22,000 views on YouTube, which is just it's just crazy to us that almost a thousand people like watching us play games. So a huge thank you to you guys. And this is for you so that you can enjoy it as well. So the first thing we're going to do is install the R2 Modman folder, which is just basically a hub that we use Lethal Company in to kind of download mods, update them, turn them off, turn them on, things like that. So you'll go to this link up here at the top, but we will put it in the description below so that you guys can just click on it easier. Um, it should be by EBKR, make sure you're getting the right one. And all you're going to do is manually download it. And once that is downloaded, it'll probably pop up right up here. And when you open that zip folder, and I already have it downloaded, it should pop up with something like this. Uh, you may have to extract the files because it is a pretty big application. But after you do that, you're just going to hit this Rodman setup. And once it's through, you just hit next, next, go through the whole installation. I already have it installed, so I'm going to skip this part. So when it's done, you should have a screen that eventually pops up something like this. So all we're going to do is just search up Lethal Company. So once that finally loads, this screen should pop up here. Um, you shouldn't have a profile in there already. You should have to create one. Um, so all you're going to do is create a new profile and you just name it, you know, whatever your username is and just hit create. But I already have one, so I will show you how we put in our files. So before you go in, we will include the file with all the mods that we use and that are currently up to date with what we run. Um, we'll put that in the description below as well in the YouTube video. But once you download that, you're just going to come over to import and update. And you're just going to update that existing profile from a file. And you can just pull it from whatever you know downloads you grab from. But once you have that, you'll hit select profile and this should pop up. I haven't updated my mods in a while, but we enjoy this because all the mods are in one place. You can quickly disable them and turn them off and on. So if some guy updates a mod and it just breaks your entire game, you can go in, turn it off quick and you can get back to playing. But if there's any updates as well, it'll let you know at the top here. And all you have to do is click that update. It'll tell you which ones are getting updated and you just hit update all. But once you're ready, you're just going to come up to the top left here and just click Start Modded. Now, I click out of this screen here, and this text will kind of pop up in front. Um, I'm going to speed it up. The amount of mods that we have are super long, and Kane is our mod guy, so he goes in and tweaks some stuff every now and then. So I'll speed this up, but it will take a pretty long time to load up here. All right, so after all of that loading, you finally will come up to here. So uh, pretty similar to the main screen. Um, you can customize your character, which is what you usually do. But we have mods in there. You can change your suit as well. But um, before you host your game, you want to make sure that when you're playing with your friends, you all have the same mods downloaded. If not, you will not be able to join each other's moon. But I'm sure most of you probably already know that. But that's just it. Then you just hop into the game. Everything should work. Um, again, we play with a ton of mods, so there may be some that are pretty buggy, but um, all in all, it has been working for us. All right, that's the end of the video, so hopefully that works out. If something happens, you want us to take a look at it, uh, you know, please leave a comment in the video saying, you know, what happened, what you're seeing, and we can work on kind of sending you a message to help you fix it up. But um, just thanks again to all the support. Um, 847, you know, might not seem like a lot, but... To think that 847 people enjoy watching us play video games and act like idiots is just incredible, you know. So, so thank you guys so much. We we really do appreciate it. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully it all works out.